April 9th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapters 19 and 20 from the Old Testament. The heavens declare the glory of God. The sky displays His handiwork. Day after day it speaks out, night after night it reveals His greatness. There is no actual speech or word, nor is its voice literally heard. Yet its voice echoes throughout the earth. Its words carry to the distant horizon. In the sky he has pitched a tent for the sun. Like a bridegroom it emerges from its chamber. Like a strong man it enjoys running its course. It emerges from the distant horizon and goes from one end of the sky to the other. Nothing can escape its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect and preserves one's life. The rules set down by the Lord are reliable and impart wisdom to the inexperienced. The Lord's precepts are fair and make one joyful. The Lord's commands are pure and give insights for life. The commands to fear the Lord are right and endure forever. The judgments given by the Lord are trustworthy and absolutely just. They are of greater value than gold, than even a great amount of pure gold. They bring greater delight than honey, than even the sweetest honey from a honeycomb. Yes, your servant finds moral guidance there. Those who obey them receive a rich reward. Who can know all his errors? Please do not punish me for sins I am unaware of. Moreover, keep me from committing flagrant sins. Do not allow such sins to control me. Then I will be blameless and innocent of blatant rebellion. May my words and my thoughts be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my sheltering rock and my Redeemer. May the Lord answer you when you are in trouble. May the God of Jacob make you secure. May he send you help from his temple. From Zion may he give you support. May he take notice of your offerings. May he accept your burnt sacrifice. Selah. May he grant your heart's desire. May he bring all your plans to pass. Then we will shout for joy over your victory. We will rejoice in the name of our God. May the Lord grant all your requests. Now I am sure that the Lord will deliver his chosen king. He will intervene for him from his holy heavenly temple and display his mighty ability to deliver. Some trust in chariots and others in horses but we depend on the Lord our God. They will fall down, but we will stand firm. The Lord will deliver the king. He will answer us when we call to him for help. God, I'm kind of laughing. We just got done recording Joshua 15 through 17, and in the prayer at the end, I was talking about how here they were fussing about wanting to take over an allotment but they have chariots they're they're big i mean it's scary and and then the next thing i record is this psalm where it says some trust in chariots and others in horses but we depend on the lord our god and in that prayer that i had for joshua 15 through 17 it talked about you in the details and this is just one of those amazing miraculous details where you just come in and support and shower us with information and love and grace and mercy. I love watching you when you do these things. And I know you do them all the time. I guess I love when you allow me to see them. Some trust in chariots and others in horses, but we depend on the Lord our God. God, today I just pray for everyone who's listening, that they be intentional about looking for these amazing things that you constantly show us in our life. That you are there, that you are supporting us and promising us a future with you. God, I commit my life to glorify you. And I abound in the grace and mercy that you show me as your child. Thank you. In your son's name I pray. Amen.